Bart, let me start with you, because you, you put meat on the bones of a story that we all know exists in Georgia, in Michigan, in Pennsylvania, in Arizona. These are regular people. The man you featured is a Republican. They, that's his party affiliation. But he doesn't conduct himself as a Republican in being the, the, the counter of votes in Maricopa County. He's just doing his job. He's just doing his job. That's exactly right. Uh, I went to Arizona looking for a good news story to tell, since I've been doing a lot of gloom and doom about the future of our democracy. And I wanted to find a, a guy who was standing up and doing his job and, and uh, doing what he was supposed to do. And the problem with this as a good news story is that for his troubles, uh, Bill Gates has been more or less excommunicated as a Republican. Uh, he doesn't want to be a Democrat. He wants to be a Republican. And, and it doesn't look as though there's going to be any room for him in the party when his term runs out in 2024. I mean, this is a guy who had aspirations for statewide office. And at this point, he doesn't see how he could compete in a primary. Yeah, uh, although Republicans in Arizona, Bart, uh, many of them, sided with Democrats in this last election instead of siding with Republicans who were election deniers. So there's a, a, a bit of a silver lining in that one. Yeah, but look who they nominated. I mean, so you had Mark Bingham, you had Terry Lake, you had uh, Abe Hamaday, uh, you had uh, Blake Masters. Everybody was an election denier. And they honestly competed to be more denier than yeah. now. Terry Lake is one of the few uh, gubernatorial candidates who who uh, lost and refused to concede. Most even of the election deniers, like Mastriano in Pennsylvania, did reluctantly concede their loss. They didn't try to pretend, as Donald Trump does, uh, that he actually won in this sort of fabulized version of the truth. Yeah. Uh, Lake has somehow managed to pull it off. She is, she is convinced a lot of people that she's the legitimate governor of Arizona, uh, and she is continuing to play that role going forward. So, Ruth, the, the, the thing that Carrie Lake does and that Donald Trump does and this, this cabal of uh, election deniers do is they try and convince you or people that uh, a guy like Bill Gates, this Republican uh, from Maricopa County, is wrong or he's incorrect. But you write that it's actually much more sophisticated than that. It is authoritarianism. It's the idea that this is the party line and you're not going with it, so bad things may happen to you. Yeah, this story is just more uh, proof that the GOP, uh, unfortunately for us, has become an autocratic party meaning it embraces lying and corruption and violence as a way of doing politics. And when a party is uh, turning more or turning into an autocratic party, you have to look at who is going out, who has no place in the party anymore. And it's people like Liz Cheney, who stood up for the rule of law, or Bill Gates. They're forced out, they're threatened out, uh, they're primaried out. And who's coming in? <laughs> And that's very important. It's often uh, criminals, violent extremists like Mark Fincham, uh, liars uh, who will embrace the party line because there is a party line now. And, and so that transformation of the party into uh, with, pe with people who are uh, going to uphold the principles of autocracy is a frame for what's going on today. You know, I, I, I thought of you last week when we were covering... Um Earlier this week, we were covering CPAC, and, and Donald Trump made a statement that uh, I thought was remarkable. He said, I am your retribution, he told his followers. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't even know what that means, uh, I am your retribution. But he's, he's saying the absolute quiet parts out loud, that if he is reelected, it won't be about different policies. It won't be about a leftward shift of the Democratic Party. It's going to be about getting back at people. Yes, because, and this originates with Mussolini, who actually said Italy needed an avenger, and that's why he declared dictatorship. So this politics of, uh, you know, that the nation is victimized, and the leader, too, has witch hunts, you know, he's the subject of witch hunts, and he's going to bring uh, the country back, and if necessary, through violence, 
uh, that's part of the authoritarian playbook for 100 years. And the other thing that scared me is that in the same speech, Trump said, I am your justice, yeah. as well as I am your retribution. And this personalization of justice, um, he's telling you, as he did when he started his campaign and said he could shoot someone and he wouldn't lose any followers, he's telling us that he considers himself to be above the law and he's going to make the law, you know, and uh, everyone else will have to follow.